Hey, how's it going everybody? In this video, I want to show you how we can open pull requests and how we can contribute to open source software on GitHub. So on my screen right now, you can see that I have two GitHub accounts open. I have a completely blank and new GitHub account on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, I have my personal GitHub account that I've been using for many years. I'm going to be using the GitHub account on the left hand side to contribute changes into a repository that is owned by the GitHub account on the right hand side. So let's take a look at what repository we're going to be contributing into. So I'm going to go onto my repositories. There's this one repository called best GitHub profile readme. Now this is simply a long list of profiles on GitHub that look nice. So let me go ahead and make this a bit larger. And you can see that I can click myself through these previews and I just see really many GitHub accounts that look nice. So let's take this first one as an example. You can see that there's this beautiful screenshot and it just looks quite nice. And that is why it is on the list. Now, the cool thing about this repository is that whenever a new entry is added to this list of best profiles down here, it is also added to a very beautiful showcase website. So you can see right here that we see all these beautiful GitHub accounts that are also in this list down here. So what we want to achieve is we want to contribute into this repository by adding a new GitHub account to this list. And after that, we want to immediately see it in this beautiful list of GitHub accounts online. In order to do that, the first thing we're going to do is in the new GitHub account, we're going to have to find the repository first. So I'm going to copy this name of the repository from the right hand side to the left hand side. And I'm going to find it in my list of recently visited repositories, which is quite helpful. So you can see now I have um, the GitHub repository that we want to contribute into open on the new account. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fork this repository. Now, a fork is quite simply a copy of a repository that remains linked to the original repository. So over here, we have the possibility to create a new fork. We can give it a name. We're simply going to leave it as it is. And we're going to create the fork. Now, this is going to take just a few moments, but in a moment, it will have loaded. And now you can see that in my new GitHub account, I have one repository, which is the one we just forked. The next thing that we want to do is we want to open this repository in a code editor. In order to do that, we can click on the repository and then we can find the option to clone the repository by clicking on code. And you can see over here, it says clone using the web URL. And we're simply going to copy this URL to our clipboard and we're going to go into the code editor that we want to use. I'm going to be using VS Code. Now that I'm in VS Code, you can see it says over here, clone Git repository. And now I can simply provide the link that I just copied into this bar and click on clone from GitHub. And then I'm going to click on the repository. I need to find a place where I want to deposit it. So that's just going to be this place right here. And then it is going to clone the Git repository into my editor. So that's great. We have now opened the repository that we saw earlier in our VS code. And we're going to go to the readme file because that is exactly where we want to make our contribution. So if I go ahead and zoom out a little bit, you will see that all this markup is actually what we saw on the page earlier. Um, so you might remember it looked something like this on the page, as you can see on the right hand side, but the code behind that is on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and add a new um, account to this list. And we're going to add the um, GitHub account of code bullet. So let's go ahead and take this GitHub handle, copy it. Then we're going to exchange the first name and write code. Then we're going to change the second name and write bullet. Afterwards, we need to put in the GitHub handle, which is code bullet. And we need to exchange the GitHub handle on a couple of places. 
So now that we've made the changes, we can go ahead and press save. And you will see that under source control, it will have detected that there is one change. And you can see here, yep, that's the change that we just made. We have added code bullet to the list of repositories. Next up, we can simply give this change that we made a commit message. So let's just write added code bullet to list. And we're going to commit and push this to our repository. Now, when we push these changes, we are pushing these changes into the forked version uh, of the project that we forked into the new account. Now, in order to see that, we can go ahead and navigate to this new account. Um, and you will see that if we go under the GitHub profile readme, you will see that it says this branch is one commit ahead of the original branch. And that's no surprise because that is the change that we just made. So if we go ahead and click on the commit, you will be able to see exactly that this is the change we made in the code editor. So we added the entry code bullet and it is over here in the changes. Now, the next thing that we can do is we can create a pull request. When we talk about pull requests, it's uh, worth to think about what the word actually means. So we are requesting for someone else to pull in our changes. So we're going to do that by clicking on contribute and open pull request. So we're going to be requesting um, someone else to pull in the changes and in this case, the someone else is my official account, so the account on the right-hand side. We can see this over here as well. So if we look at this entry over here, you can see that it says the base repository. So the repository that we are going to be contributing into is Max on Text. So that is my um, official account that I've had for a long time. And the repository that the changes are coming from are the mean git repo, which is the new account that I created for the purposes of this video. So we're simply going to cr click on create pull request. Now, once you make a pull request, let me make this a little bit larger. You'll have to give it a title and a description. So we are going to leave the title as is. So the title is going to be added code bullet to the list. And then we are going to fill this description. So you can see that it simply asks us some details. It asks us to start the repository, which you should do. And um, then it also asks us about the details of the pull request down here. But we're going to not stress about it. We're simply going to fill out that we are adding a new profile by giving it an X and we're going to create the pull request. So now that we have created the pull request, we have requested the other account to, well, pull in changes into their code base. So let's go into the other account, which is this account on the right hand side and make it large to see what it looks like on the other end. So if we go into the pull requests ribbon, you will see that the account that has received the pull request has this one new, well, list item over here. And it says added code bullet to the list, which is precisely the pull request we just opened in the other account. If I click on that, I can review all the changes that the person made. I can even go into the code and see what this person has done. Um, let me go ahead and do that. So if I go into the commit and then over here, you can see, ah, that's the change that someone's made. So he's adding code bullet. And after that, you can see that uh, we have the option to merge the pull request, which is what we're going to do. So I'm going to click on merge pull request and confirm the merge. So now you'll see the original project that accepted the pull request will also have the changes that we made. So if we go into uh, the repository and scroll right down to the bottom of the list, you can see that code bullet is one of the entries and it wasn't there before. And it even has a preview, but the preview has just not loaded yet. So if we go to the top, you can see that there's a small loading icon and it says pending. And that is because at the moment, this repository is still taking the screenshot of the code bullet um, GitHub account. So we're going to just wait a brief moment and refresh. 
And then after some moments, you will see that um, under code bullet, there will now also be a screenshot. And in addition to the screenshot, we should now also see that this account has been added to the website. So if we go onto the website and scroll down, you will see that code bullet has been added as one of the entries to this list. So that is exactly how you open pull requests and how you can contribute to open source software. Now, I encourage you to try this yourselves. Go ahead and look for some cool GitHub accounts and go ahead and try and commit them to this project and we can build a very nice and large repository of beautiful GitHub accounts. So thanks for watching and we'll see each other in the next video.